Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will view the collection dashboard using Microsoft Excel. The data source of the report is collection aging by collectors 7 buckets. As a manager responsible for collection, there are various questions to start with, such as mentioned here. The response from the dashboard is we have 90.8 million amount outstanding for 24 customers, which have 1900 invoices and three collectors are responsible for making the collection another set of question is how much is the overdue so if we break up the amount of overdue in the seven buckets here it will show the overall amount breakup we can see here more than 90 days bucket is very high and 81 181 to 360 is also very high so if we want to see only a portion which has been there more than 180 days 180 days so now you see here the filters the data 180 days and here also it will reflect the filter 56 percent is falling in this bucket and if i want to see more than 180 days so selecting this amount 52 million and that's amounting to 58 percent of the total amount same thing if i go for more than 90 days the amount is almost 90 million out of 90.8 million so which is 99% of the total amount is overdue for more than 90 days. Now any one specific question like only for single cost collector we can see here there are three collectors and the Jim Jones is responsible for the 80% of the collection. So let's see for the Jim Jones. A set of questions like who are the top customers that are managed by the Jim Jones. So here we can see the customers top 10 want to see more here it's showing that out of 24 customers 20 are managed by Jim Jones which is 83 percent so we can say want to see what is the amount outstanding and the count it will go and you can scroll to the 20 customers second is we want to see how much is the contribution of top three customers so here we can see I can enter top 3 because I know directly top 3 58% of the amount which Jim June is responsible belongs to top 3 customers so only top 3 if we focus only the top 3 customers 58% will be recoverable if the question change I want to see how many customers contribute 80% of the outstanding amount for Jim Jones so we want to see here when this reaches 80% so I get on increasing five six seven so out of 20 if jim june is focusing only on the seven customers he will be able to realize 80 percent of his collection and this is across all the buckets so as of now we checked only for the jim june and for the customer wise he can also see by which state he is outstanding so he is responsible for so many states again i can scroll and 11 states are here and any cities and when i select this you can see this also gets changed so let me see here top three so jim jones responsible for top three cities so here we can see dallas atlantis and san diego are the are the city which where the most of the amount is over to you and this three city contributes 45 percent of the outstanding same way we can see a transaction type so just to say that this is like for only for Jim Jones if I clear the filter now it is available for all so coming back to Jim Jones let's go one more dimension ahead like Jim Jones is responsible for 72 millions and now we want him to get contact with Texan Industries so here we have a contact persons list you can see here it's up to 10 contacts are available now which one belongs to which customer now that's relationship is not there so what you need to do is just select the customer name now you see here the color changed and even it write backs the name so for contact details these are the four persons dixon industries where he can make a contact first is d bush if we just contact him he is responsible for 60 percent of the amount of dixon industries this 27 million and same thing here the bucket will also get changed as per the customer selected consolidated services you can click over here knows that the mr chang is responsible call him follow up make an appointment second call so top three customers only he is focusing let's say 58 percent so abc corporation h f 
for each that's how the collector can just identify the top three customers make a contact and ensure that their most of the outstanding amount is getting collected from the customer you can also say that how many is specifically in which bucket so so this is what we see the filtering part now if i want to restore back the all contact person or a bucket for all you just click on the total name for customer now it is restored back to the all aging all contact details and all collectors same thing if he is planning instead of customer he is visiting a city so let's say he is visiting a dallas and what all persons are there so you say in the dallas there is a deep bush he can contact or when he is in atlanta you can go and discuss with mr wayne and discuss that so much amount is outstanding so we can say 8.5 million is there and any other city it's just like you need to select so anytime in person visit is there he can just make an appointment with this person and the dues and other informations that can be taken care of from his side so to remove again the filter it's here so when we click on this part it's just unclear the filter which is the below this filtering does not impact this particular tile or the total or above here if i want to clear everything and restore back to the main thing so i just need to click clear filters now everything as a group will be visible here let's understand the steps required to get the source data first you need to run the standard report name collection aging by collector 7 bucket from oracle fusion environment enter the parameters ensure you are selecting the report summary as invoice summary and report format as the detail the excel supports only these two formats the other formats it will not generate any data once the report is completed normal click on this download button and download the xml file save the xml file on your system and note down the folder path and the file name so along with the extension so this will be used in our next step download this excel file from the youtube description link so once you download there will be an enable content request button will be available as it is a macro enabled file you need to enable the content this is the folder name and the file name we need to enter where you have saved your xml file so in the beginning when we download this sheet all three sheets will be blank so no, no parameters are generated nothing in the details same thing nothing on our collection dashboard so to get the data populated here we need to import data from this xml by clicking this button so now we can see here the parameters first for understanding the folder name path the us1 business unit and the formats are invoice summary and the report format is detailed one so this is the only two sub formats that we support so please ensure you are selecting this uh, this values in the parameters this is a date format let me just change it to the date format it was as on 21st august also one of the other parameters that will say that if you want to see receipts age we recommend so that means any outstanding amount of receipts will also go into the bucket otherwise it will show separately so this is the data which is populated in the parameters this will help you to whenever you are seeing a data it ensures the user what business unit or what parameters are in as on which date it is the data is available this is the detailed tabular file the invoice sheet contains where the entire xml output which was previously in another format is now available in the tabular format now user can do any ad hoc analysis get the list of all the transaction number for a filtered data or create his own pivot table from this particular tabular data and even create the buckets of his own will so instead of having this seven buckets may create any other buckets with the user fields so if you want add here any if conditions and say more than this would you uh, that is also visible so you can have any number of column and create a pivot accordingly let's see the data is still not populated to get the data populated from invoice step we need to click on the refresh so as we were making discussion about some additional columns in the invoice sheet so any changes which you made in the invoice sheet you need to come here and click on refresh to get the effect of those changes now if we, as we see this top side and the other informations are not relevant when we doing the dashboard analysis so we click on this view full screen now only the dashboard look is available to the user so inside the excel they can see that full dashboard is available 
so we see here the bucket which is here seven bucket this is as per the parameters selected in the source so here the bucket was collection name of the seven bucket so here you can have any other bucket the data will be accordingly and this parameter will also change as per the values which you have selected so i hope you find this steps very easy to generate the data in the excel file let's summarize the steps so first is the steps you need to run the report and download the xml file say xml file in your system download the excel file from youtube links this is one time thing enter the full folder name and path and the file name with extension import data by clicking the button import and then refresh to get the data in the pivot table so these are the only six steps that you need to do when you want to get data converted into the excel file if you have any questions or suggestions regarding this video please post your comments onto the comment section below so i will be happy that to give you the responses if you have any other requirement to convert your xml data or csv file in excel or create a dashboard in excel please contact us as data at gmail.com thanks for giving your time have a nice day